Hello. We're going to talk through a few posters, and we're going to go through what is well done and what could be done slightly better. Um, we're going to start here with this poster. This poster has beautiful, clear pictures and some really nice lettering. Uh, what we don't really want to see is uh, a font that's hard to read. Uh, you can see here, it looks really nice in the title, but down here on the uh, captions, captions. That's <laughs> here on the captions, it really kind of gets very hard to read, and they could be just a little larger. Another thing about this poster, everything's clear, but it's not well balanced. We could fill in some of this area over here by just blowing it up a little and moving them up this direction so it balances everything better. And do the same on the other side. Blow up and balance. Let's move on to another poster and take a look. This poster has a pretty good balance. Everything is laid out. It looks uh, easy on the eye. The one thing we don't want here is uh, so small. It, it's kind of small. The illustrations could be larger. The font could be just a little bigger. And that would just make this poster a little better. The heading, uh, the title is nice size. And overall, this is a pretty good poster. Just a little more size on everything to fill it out and make it easier to read from across the room. This poster is a nice poster. It's, you can read the title well. You could read uh, the subtitle. The picture is lovely, easy to see. What's hard to see are the captions, the, the little uh, anatomy labels. Uh, they could be a lot bigger. And that would help fill out that space and look, make it look a little fuller. And again, easy to see from across the room. Now this poster is well balanced. It's got a pretty good size on everything. You can see the fish, you can see the numbers. Uh, you could probably blow up your, your words here um, a little bit more. And maybe the, the centerpiece here is uh, the puzzle. Just make it a little bit bigger. But uh, this poster is well balanced and we really like this one. You'll notice down here in the corner you've got your uh, label. What you see missing on this poster is the plastic. It doesn't have its plastic on there. And remember when you do your plastic that your label needs to go on the outside of the plastic. This poster is well balanced all the way around. Um, the only little thing maybe is a little bit bigger in the, in the uh, captions. But overall, everything is well balanced. The color is good. It really catches your eye. This poster is also well balanced and it catches your eye. It may be almost on a hair a little too busy in the colors. Uh, they've got three colors in here, maybe one less color, but overall it's, it's very appealing. Again, caption size is a little small. Could bring that up just a hair. This is an example of a photography poster. And we were talking uh, earlier about uh, having to have specific titles. Uh, particularly photography, you have to title things as it's in the book and as they uh, show you in workshops. This uh, is well laid out. The numbers could be a little bit bigger, but in this case, the numbers are not really important to, to what's going on here. Uh, that's just a little walk through a few posters to give you some ideas what to look for, what to maybe change, and, and to make your poster a, a better poster.